everybody, I'm Mariah, and if you got a little extra time, you might as well stay tuned because we have a special edition of MTV's 1515, and it's all pertaining to my tour, in fact. So stay tuned. This week on MTV News 1515, Mariah Carey, live, really, dressed, barely, on tour, finally. We'll go behind the scenes for the wild opening night of her U.S. tour. We'll give you some backstage antics from the European leg of her tour. We'll offer some intimate glimpses of real-life Mariah style and give you a taste of the hits that made her famous, performed as only Mariah Kent. Mariah. I've been a big Mariah fan for a long time. We spent oh. the night at the Staples Center to get our tickets. And then they didn't sell them here, so we had to we had to go on the internet. And we were like driving all over LA trying, trying to get to... our tickets. I'm really looking forward to seeing her do Heartbreaker. She had so many hits. It's gonna be a great show. I just love her. I have all her CDs and I'm, her t-shirts, everything. I just love her. Oh my god! Hi, I'm Chris Connolly, and welcome to this special edition of 1515 from the opening night of Mariah Carey's Rainbow Tour. Tonight's show caps the exclamation point, if you will, of one of the most remarkable image transformations in recent pop music history. Seven years ago, on her last tour, Mariah Carey was dressed head to toe in black. She came out on a stage like this one, sang the hits, and said goodnight. Those days are long gone. Tonight we will see a totally transformed Mariah, someone who has gone from an M.O.R. mega vocalist to a hip-hop-ish love goddess of fat beats and fantastically revealing videos. This show's got everything. It's got all the hits for one thing, but also has comedy sketches and costume changes, all designed to reinvent Mariah once again as a full-on entertainer for all of her true fans, whom she hopes will come to this show ready to smile. The show is like a lot of fun. You have to come to it kind of with a sense of humor and you have to come to it with the understanding of who Bianca is. Well, who is Bianca for people who have been under a rock for the last four months? Okay, Bianca is my evil twin. She's supposed to be hosting my show, but I've got her out of it as much as I can, but she's still in there a little bit and there is a potential rematch. I ended up not using as many taped pieces as I was originally going to because it sort of was breaking up the flow. So um, we're running two of them prior to the show and the rest I think we're gonna probably put out on the internet or something like that. Or if a network such as MTV chooses to pick one of them that they'd like to show, we have a few kind of really funny skits that I, I hated losing because they were just so like bizarre. Bye you guys, thank you. got for me today? Well, uh, well... Is it my uh, new CD? Storm? No, it's Mariah, but yeah, I, I don't know it's Mariah. It's what a real poster looks like. It's not this. You know what? I don't like that. You love me! Adore me! Hate her! I'm sexy as hell! These are mine too. Home. I do most of the songs that are expected, but I do songs from the new album that a lot of people may not have heard. Um, but I'm still I'm not going to do a show where I don't do Fantasy or Dream Lover or Hero because some people will be a little annoyed at me. Why has it been so long since you've done a tour like this in the States? When I first toured, the only time I ever toured, I wasn't sort of being myself. I was still in that stage where it was very much like people kind of explaining to me how to be and then it was like okay get out there and be a star and I was like um hi here's my song vision of love I had a vision of love and it was all that you given me I haven't played the state since I first came out and I was just like kind of standing there in a turtleneck and a long jacket <laughs> not that way anymore I mean, okay, you know, before I think it was the right decision early on for me to be very simple and very, you know, for people just to focus on my voice and songwriting, although people didn't even realize that I wrote songs and some of them still don't. 
And that was cool for a year and a half, two years. But hey, <laughs> there comes a time when you say, can I get a different hairdo and a new ensemble, please? Mariah abandoned her butterfly tour after just one show in Hawaii when a movie offer came up. But the project blew up on the launch pad because funny man Chris Tucker wouldn't commit. You don't hit him over the head with a frying pan when you I see him? I smack him, him around. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> but no. You jerk! Well, yeah, because it would have been fun to be able to do the butterfly tour, and that was that was a special time for me. You know, it was like it was really a new period of my life, and it was something that was that was uh, it prompted me to want to do this when I had the chance. People think when you go on tour, you make a huge bunch of money, right? But with your production value mm -hmm. and a not crazy ticket price, right. how are you going to wind up doing on this tour? Um, I'm going to maybe break even, but I don't care because it's for my fans and I'm enjoying it and I'm enjoying doing it and I know that sounds like probably people think she's a complete and total liar, but it's true. You can have me when you want me. Do you stay in a real regimen when you're on tour? Do you try to behave and not go out at night? No, I, I can't because every place is smoky. I mean, I guess if I went out in LA, That'd be alright, but then I might be coaxed into having an apple martini or something, and that would foil my voice too. So I can't. It's it's really boring. All my dancers and singers go out and have a really good time, and they're like, "Woo! Last night it was so much fun." I'm like, "Yeah, I had a great time watching Bambi in my room with my nine humidifiers. It was fun." <laughs> it's not what you thought it was going to be like when you were a teenager, right? You thought you'd go on the road and have a wild time and be partying all night. I right? never thought I was going to go on the road. I only cared about making videos. <laughs> Last time we talked, you, I asked if you were in love, and you said yes. Are you still in love? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm shy. I'm very shy. I can't talk about these things, Chris. Right. But actions speak louder than words, and Mariah clearly loves the puppy she got from her boyfriend, Latin star Luis Miguel. Is a dog the perfect gift to give the girl who has everything? Well, a bauble never hurts. <laughs> But if you can't afford a little bauble for that special someone, there's always a little lamb chop. In fact, uh, little things like this turn up on Mariah's show. It's one of the few shows you'll catch, I'd say, currently touring that involves livestock. At least if you don't count the corn show. And in this one, the livestock are still alive when they leave the stage. Lots of cool stuff being sold here, lots of people buying stuff, and a whole lot more still to come on this special edition of 1515, including Mariah backstage and a talk with DeBrat. Keep it here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.